show them who you are. One of my favorite moments in all of Marvel is from the movie Black Panther. This dude, the main character, Black Panther, King T'Challa, he's a superhero. And if you've not seen it, watch it if you have, which most everybody at this point has seen it. He is a superhero. He's got these crazy super abilities, but he's also king of Wakanda. And part of this ritual for him to be king and to be the Black Panther is he has to be stripped of all of his superpowers, everything that makes him Black Panther, super fast, super strong, super everything, stripped of it. And anyone that challenges him, he has to face them and he has to beat them to keep the title, to keep the abilities. So he's being stripped of these powers. Everybody's like, nah, we like King T'Challa, but there's this one dude that steps up. There's always that one person. This one dude steps up, big, strong, says, I'm gonna challenge you. And so anyways, it breaks in this incredible fight, which, and where it's set, it's like this, in this waterfall, it's amazing. You gotta watch the movie, so I gotta paint a picture here. They're in this waterfall, they're battling in the water, water splashing everywhere. There's blows being landed, blood pumping, pumping out everywhere. And it's just amazing. And it comes to this moment where King T'Challa starts to lose. He's being held down. The music starts to change. Everything slows down. You just hear the heartbeat. It just, it just, it comes to this really cinematic moment. And King T'Challa is losing. He's about, he's not about ready to lose just a battle. He's about ready to lose his title. He's about ready to lose everything. And at this moment, he looks over at his mom, and it's the coolest, the coolest thing. She says this: "Show them who you are." And in that moment, he's like, "Whoa, I'm King T'Challa." He gets up, kicks butt, triple backflip. It's the coolest thing ever. Wins it, gets his powers. It's just amazing. But in this moment, I wanted to point something out. He didn't say, I am I am my superpowers. I am this, I am that. He said, who am I? And I'm here to remind you right now as children of God that your identity is not based on your, your abilities. It's not based on your best days or your worst days. It's based on the word of God. Your identity is found in Jesus Christ. And once you, once you understand, and, and when you understand, you remind yourself of your identity in God, it changes everything. Not only do you know who you are, but you know what you have access to. That you are blessed, highly favored, forgiven, set free, made whole. You were a new creation in Christ. Everything changes when you know who you are in God. And it changes. So I hear, I'm here to tell you something right now. I'm, I'm going to ask you, who are you? And if your response is, Blake, I am exactly who God called me. I'm a child of God. Then I'm here to respond and say, show them who you are. 